This will quickly show how to make a drag and drop quiz in Moodle. So the first thing that you're going to do is turn editing on, go to add an activity or resource, and then choose the quiz option. Okay, from here you'll give it your title and description. You can go through kind of all your usual quiz settings, but we'll look at specifically how to add that drag and drop. Okay, so I can go to edit quiz here. Notice you can also edit the quiz from the administration tab or preview over here. So when I go to edit quiz, um, since I don't already have a question in, I'm gonna go to add a new question and I'm gonna choose the drag and drop into text option. There is a drag and drop into image option and that might be worth exploring as well. We'll look at the text first. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy and paste your paragraph in here or write it in. So um, this example is four and then maybe this is where number one goes. You're gonna use bracket bracket one. Okay, and then whenever it comes time for your second, you'll put bracket bracket two and you can continue on. Um, so it looks something like this. And even if you copy and paste, you could take out a word and then insert the brackets. Down here, I just need to make sure that these match where the words go up here. So um, this would be an example three. So this would be where your words go and then save changes. Okay, um, for now, I'm gonna go ahead and return to the course. And then when we click on the quiz and go to attempt, you'll see that it has pulled in my text and the drag and drop options. There's one other option for draggables in Moodle, and that's drag and drop images. So I'm gonna choose a background image, which could be an essay, it could be something they're gonna label, it could even be a blank white canvas. And then I'm gonna actually upload different images or text for students to drag into the correct places. So I have designated where these go, that way it can be graded. And I'll probably, the background image, I would probably choose a larger background image. And so that would be um, what it's like for a student. So um, we'll go ahead and look what that's like setting up the drag into an image option. So I'm gonna click on my quiz I go to administration and edit quiz. You can see test with images. This is my question. You'll give it a question title and description as normal. And then this is where you choose your background image. So um, for now, I just have this little sign. You probably wanna choose a bigger image here. Once you have the background image, you're gonna choose your draggables. So you've got the choice of either a draggable image or a draggable piece of text. So you can see I have five different draggables. So um, I went ahead and just went to choose a file or you could drag and drop in either an image or a piece of text. You could just write it in at the bottom. So I went ahead and put in text here just as a label, um, but really if your images are labeled, you wouldn't have to do that step. So you can see I have five draggable items. And then it's important to look at the drop zone. So really all I had to do was go in here and choose all five of the items that I added. So once I choose them, that I want them to be drug into the major background image, I'm gonna scroll back up, and then you're gonna choose where you want those to go. So you're gonna set the draggable zone. Okay, and that is how you set up the question. So then when students go in, um, we'll go ahead and preview the quiz. Then you'll see, as students, I've already taken the quiz, but you'll see the five different blanks and you can see how this one moved. So that can even be graded um, if students put things in the right spot. So these are just some options for draggables.